113th meeting, the battle for Floyd of Rosedale, and off we go from Iowa City with a touchback. Hawkeyes won the toss and choose here's third and one. And it's a flip to the wide open field, and Tyler Goodson showing off some of that big playability. First down into Gopher territory on a 26-yard run with some misdirection. Yeah, They're no down way. nine on the opening Iowa possession. Stanley pressured out of a collapsing pocket, able to keep it alive. He takes off and spins within a yard of the first down marker. It's fourth and one. He's back to throw on fourth and short. Delivers a strike for a first down. Tonight, Weeding, the fifth year senior, back from injury. How about that play caught on fourth and short? Draft tight ends last year. That's just the 15th catch by a tight end this year. On first and 10, Stanley scan of the field, finds Regani inside the five and in for the Iowa touchdown. The red shirt freshman from 21 yards. Well, it was a go route on first down. It was a cross and go later. And how about the double move here? You think they've seen these Gophers be aggressive in the secondary? Right, that is three different play calls on your script to make sure you attack that back end of that defense that has wanted to be aggressive, that has sat on some of those routes in Iowa. What an opening drive for these Hawk Hawkeyes to really mix it up and break their tendencies. And an issue here on the point after, and it remains six nothing. Third down seven on Minnesota's first drive. Morgan's first throw of the day is to a wide open Tyler Johnson. First down to the 41 to the senior out of Minneapolis North. Morgan in trouble and sacked by Brady Reef. And finally, the Hawkeyes get a stop on third and long. Minnesota, one of five remaining unbeatens, number eight in the college football playoff standings. Here's Goodson again, steps out of a tackle, crosses midfield, inside the 40. And so far, Brock showing why they wanted to give him a bigger role. They left here in the first quarter. Heavy dose of Goodson in this first quarter. The freshman trying to get around the edge. Crashes his way in. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Ten yards. Goodson running with a purpose. Well, one of P.J. Flex stats that he looks at and says it's been one of the biggest determinants of who wins and loses is missed tackles. And that's one, that's two, that's three, and then I will run through number four. You miss tackles on the road defensively, you're going to have a real hard time to win, especially against a battle-tested team like Iowa. This extra point is good, and it's 13-0 Hawkeyes. They love it, and in this case, they hate each other. Morgan pumps short. He's got his eyes over the top. Haven one for Bateman. Underthrown. Comes back to catch it, as he's done so many times this year. All right. In front of this first down play, Bruce. Play action for Stanley. Wide open Tyrone Tracy to the 46, Bruce. Yeah, Joe, second so. down and eight. Stanley steps into the pocket to the sideline. A strike for Tracy. Slips the defender and breaks free. All the way to the 25. A guy that they think has a big play knack has started to show up the last few weeks with Brandon Smith injured. Yeah, it's a true freshman running back. It's the redshirt freshman wide receiver. It is yet another bullet perfectly thrown. Nate Stanley is comfortable back in that pocket and put a couple more missed tackles here for Minnesota. Just something they've not done this season on this run to 9-0. They have secured that, that tackle, but Smith, the corner can't. Rockets. The non-elastic sleeves. He's got the whole picture. Play action. Deep drop. End zone. Smith Marset touchdown Iowa. The Hawkeyes exploding out of the gates. Three drives and three touchdowns against the eighth-ranked team. That's what everybody loves to do. And boy, this play and this plan is working perfectly. What do you want to do down in the red zone? You want to run those rub routes, right? You want traffic. You want this this corner here, Coney Durr, to have to get through that congestion. He cannot. 
And I'll say it again for about the 10th time, you simply can't throw it better than that. This. Morgan looks to throw, lofting one downfield. Tyler Johnson able to hang on. Absorbed the hit from Jack Kerner for a gain of 36. The drive kept alive. First down at the Iowa 25-yard line. Fake to Smith. Here comes pressure and a sack. Christian Welch firing his gun from his linebacker spot. Two in the conference, scoring 40 points per game in conference play. Held to three so far. Morgan finds Douglas. What a dime. Third catch of the day for Douglas. This one goes for a gain of 28. He hit it off of the upright and through. That close to be. Morgan looking down the seam. Johnson's broken loose for the touchdown. Minnesota finally finds the end zone with a 28 yard strike to the senior. On third and 12, Stanley delivers right at the six, so to depend on the spot as the freshman tight end Sam Laporta gets his first catch. They get Man to man across the board as Morgan goes back to throw. Wants one on one. Tyler Johnson climbs the ladder and comes down with it. You know, started through non conference play and they have rode it here in the Big Ten schedule. That's hit from behind by Epinesa. Thankfully for the Gophers, somebody's home to fall on it. Shannon Brooks. Morgan on the slant. Johnson drops it. Now flags fly. Flags come flying from all over the place at the end of the play. Are they going to get Dane Belton for a hit on Johnson after he drops it? He's getting the feedback from everybody. And to the play. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Iowa. Number four. That's his first of the game. Also, unsportsmanlike conduct. On Minnesota, their head coach, his first of the game. It'll be first and ten for Iowa. Going half the distance, and the second one taking the ball out to the 22. All right, Mike Stanley on time and on target. Smith Marset, first down to the 42. Fourth quarter begins with play action. Stanley steps up, fires a bullet, first down. Tyrone Tracy inside the 45 and a gain of 17. Game for yeah, Iowa to the near side of the screen. He's not played in three games. Stanley and pressured and sacked. It's Braylon Oliver, the freshman linebacker, all the way back in Iowa territory. Morgan crunched at the 21. Epinesa along with Evans, but credit to the secondary for not giving him any windows. On third and short, they motion Goodson out, leaving just the fullback Ross in there with Stanley. A straight drop. He retreats, keeping the play alive. Chased by Coughlin. He runs, cuts, first down Iowa. Couldn't quite break the plane for the game time two point conversion last week. Here he Man to man. And they rush just four. So Stanley's got time. Right to the stick, Smith Marset, they convert. Kicking team on with Keith Duncan. He's hit 22 field goals this season. That's a program record. This one tails its way through and gives Iowa a two score lead with 7 13 left. On third and eight. Morgan has time, finds an open man out of the backfield, Ibrahim. 0 for 3, scoring touchdowns. On the slant, Tyler Johnson breaks to the outside, inside the 5, fighting his way, just short. But the Gophers have it first and goal with 356. Coverage, keeping everything in front of you, and Johnson, as he's done most of the night, has just been a difference maker. A lot of times you see Minnesota go to the wild. Direct snap to Smith. Breaks the plane. Touchdown. Minnesota not finished yet. Back to within a score with 327 left. 
Walker missed it. Drive starts from the 20. He pumps short. He's pressured by Epinesa. He shed him, but then got sacked. Joe Evans got there. Now with no timeouts, the clock continues to run inside a minute 40 on the fifth Iowa sack of the day. Down to a minute 20 and some confusion for the Gophers. Pressure again and sacked again. Epinesa this time. It's actually Cole Kramer that comes into the game. Cole Kramer at quarterback. Over the middle, incomplete. He was looking for Bateman. And it's fourth down and 21. Last chance for the Gophers. Kramer lofting down the field, jump ball. It is picked off by Riley Moss. And Minnesota's dream season ends here at Kinnick. And ultimately, it was Epinesa in that front four that got home on the game-defining drive to nail it. And Minnesota will still have an opportunity to win the division. But the unbeaten season ends as Kirk Ferentz and the Hawkeyes beat Minnesota 23-19. Their third top-ten home win in the last four seasons.